My name is Ed Schumacher, technical marketing engineer. In this video, I'd like to show how to use WebEx calling in a mobile phone. Some of the features we're going to show is how to receive a call, how to place a call, some mid-call handling, some additional features, and how to use call pull. I'll be using an iPhone, but an Android works similarly. Here's what it looks like to receive a call within the app. Whether you are being called directly, you receive a call, say, from a hunt group or a call queue, or even if you're an executive assistant, receiving a call on behalf of that executive. It all looks the same. Placing a call within the app is very easy. The first way I'll show is with a keypad. You're going to press the blue icon in the lower right corner, then select a keypad. It brings up the dial pad, and you can enter any digits that you wish, whether an internal extension or a public number. Another method of starting a call is if you have a chat open with a colleague, you can simply press the telephone icon at the top of the screen, select the number, and it places a call as well. Very simple, very intuitive. Now that we have an active call, let's take the first mid-call handling feature, placing a call on hold. We're going to press the more features icon at the bottom of the screen, select hold, and the far end will hear hold music. You can resume it by simply pressing the resume button on the screen. With the active call, we could have also conferenced. Same, bring up the features, select conference. We can then either enter the person's name or dial their digits extensively. The, we connect to that first person and then we select merge the calls. You will see the video icon appear on the screen, but that is perfectly normal. The final mid call handling is going to be transfer. Again, active call, bring up those options, and now we're going to transfer the call. Again, you can either dial the digits or select a person by name. This is a warm transfer. You'll be prompted to connect to the person, and then when you collect complete transfer, the call now drops from you. Now I'd like to show you how to forward your calls. Click on your avatar, then click on settings, then click on calling, and there you see the options to forward calls. Here you can enter a new number, and this can be either a public number or it could be an extension within your organization. Then once you have it on your list, you can either select it or you could have even selected forward calls directly to voicemail. The next feature that I want to show here is how to open up settings.webex.com. This is where you would do all your additional settings just like you would if you were logged in uh, from your computer. And to disable forwarding, it's simple as selecting do not forward calls. If you're a member of a call queue and you need to change your status, that can also be done from the calling page within settings within the app. You simply select call queue and then you can select which status you wish to have. Another powerful feature of the app is to be able to check your messages. You can see on the home screen that you have a number indicating you probably have messages. So if you open the app and then click on the calling tab on the bottom, you then can select voicemail from the top and here you see a visual representation of your messages. You can select one and I've already talked to that colleague so we can delete that message and then we can also look to the next one and mark it as read. This turns off the message waiting indicator light, but keeps the message for future use. The final feature I'd like to show today is call pull. This is one of the most powerful features of the WebEx calling platform. You have a call on your desk phone. You can open the app, select calling the blue icon and select call pull. This seamlessly moves the call with minimal disruption to the conversation from your desk phone to your app. You have all the same mid call handling features. I hope this video has given you just a taste of all the power that the WebEx app on the mobile phone can bring to you. We've shown about how to receive a call, how to place a call, some mid-call handling features, some additional features, and most importantly, how to pull a call onto your mobile app. I hope this video has been helpful to you. We have other videos from my TME peers on our TME YouTube channel. The link is on the screen. Additional help can be found at help.webex.com at the WebEx Help Center. Thank you so much.